While copper tube is usually joined by soldering and bracing, flare fittings are an alternative when you don't want to use an open flame. A flare joint should be made with an appropriate tool supplier by tubing piping tool manufacturers that matches the outside diameter of the tube being flare and has an appropriate flare angle, commonly 45 degree. First, the copper tube must be cut square using an appropriate tubing cutter. After cutting, the tube must be reamed to the full inside diameter, leaving no inside burr. Tube that is out of round prior to flaring should be resized back to round. Clean the tube to be flared using an abrasive cloth. Place a flare nut over the end of the tube with the threads closest to the end being flared. Insert the tube between the flaring bar of the flaring tool in the appropriate opening of the diameter of the tube being flared. Adjust the height of the tube in the opening in accordance with the tool manufacturer's instruction to achieve sufficient length of the flare. Position the yoke with a flaring cone over the tube end and clamp the yoke in place. Turn the handle of the yoke clockwise, and that will lower the flaring cone and force the lip of the tube against the base of the flaring bar to create an angle flare that will fit securely with a corresponding flare type fitting. The final flare tube end should have a smooth, even, round flare of sufficient length to fully engage the mating surface of the flare nut without protruding into the threads. 